What's going on everyday people? I'm Chad Thompson and today I've got you guys an updated way to upload photos to Instagram and a whole multitude of other things. Now unfortunately a lot of the questions I get asked on one of my most popular videos of how to upload photos to Instagram is how do you upload videos? Well currently there's still no known way to do this without getting paid third party plugins. I want to teach you guys free ways to do this but if you want to do some paid plugins there will be a link in the description box below to an article talking about different plugins that will help you upload your videos but I don't really see a point in that it's not worth it to me I'm just going to keep using my cell phone but that's enough of me rambling on if you guys do like today's video make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with the latest stuff photo video and Instagram related and also not miss out on other cool little tricks just like this without further ado let's learn how to do this thing Okay, so as I mentioned, this is another Google Chrome tutorial, so make sure you have Google Chrome downloaded as your browser. It may work for other browsers if they have special plugins. What you want to do is go to the Google Chrome web store and look for desktop for Instagram. You could type it in on Google, just whatever, but you want the desktop for Instagram plugin and add that plugin to Google Chrome. You can already see that mine has already been added. It takes like two seconds to add this thing in. So you want to make sure you're signed into your Instagram account so that way it can pull it up. Now at this point, at any time you come to Chrome, all you have to do is click the little Instagram icon. If you don't see yours, just go into your extensions and you should be able to find it. But just click on that and it's going to load up your Instagram and you have a lot of different options to do here and it looks so much smoother than the developer mode. So essentially what it's doing, it's going ahead and forcing your Chrome into that developer mode that we were doing without doing all the necessary steps. So you have options over here where you have the share buttons for Facebook and Twitter. So like let's say I really love Jacob's photo here. I could go ahead and share this to my Facebook uh, fan page or pr probably my own timeline, however I want to do that. It's super easy to post. Same deal with Twitter. You can also get a full format photo link and basically what that means is you can click up in this corner and pull the full size photo up on your screen to reference that. Now you can also download people's images for whatever reason you might want to do that. Just don't do it illegally. So it adds a lot of cool options. Now you can post photos directly to your Instagram feed. All you have to do is click the same icon as if you were on your phone to upload and you can also upload to stories. Now again, you cannot upload videos this way. To my knowledge, there's currently no known way to do this without buying a paid third-party plugin app. If you want to pay for it and give it a try, go ahead, but I don't really recommend that. So as far as uploading photos, commenting on photos, sharing them, interacting with people, it's super easy to do. So DMs and uploading videos are just not possible. I'm sorry. I've been researching like crazy to try to figure out if or not you can do that. And so far, without paying for a third-party plugin, I have no idea. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If this video today helped you out, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials for Instagram, photo, video, you name it. But guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today. And as always, be sure to create something new today.